Security Now Illustrated by AskMrWizard.com Illustrating concepts, mechanisms, and algorithms from the amazing Security Now podcast by Steve Gibson and Leo Laporte. This is segment D, the fourth of five segments constituting episode number 11 on bad Wi-Fi security. Computers can do a very good job with generating random numbers. And that's what this RC4 algorithm does. It is an extremely good pseudo random number generator. The idea is you give it a key, and that's the encryption key that WEP uses. And using that key, it scrambles its initial condition in a, in a pattern based on the key. From that point on, it generates very good random numbers. Now, it then uses this stream of random numbers to, in the same way as a one-time pad, to encrypt any communication going between endpoints. The access point has the same key. It, sa it, it uses this, this string of random numbers to perform the encryption, and then the the recipient has, has the same key. It's why it's called a pre-shared key, or PSK. It uses the same key with its RC4 algorithm to generate the, a, an identical stream of these pseudo-random numbers, which it then essentially mixes again in order to restore the original message. Well, it's a good idea, except it was used badly. For example, there was, in the initial implementation, an access point would authenticate someone who wanted to connect with it by sending it a, it would just make up some message of any sort, and it would send it to somebody who wanted to connect. The, 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 the end point that wanted to connect would use its key to encrypt that message, whatever it was, it could just be randomness, and send it back. The access point would then decrypt it and compare it with the message it sent. Okay, you know, from an engineering standpoint, that sounds like, you know, a secure thing. Because that was a way for the, the, the machine that wanted to connect to prove that it had the key. What they forgot was that somebody sniffing would see the in the clear text go to the end that wanted to authenticate itself and would see the encrypted response. Well, since it had the in the clear text and the response, it had everything it needed to decrypt, uh, uh, basically to, to, to decrypt the encryption and determine trivially what the pseudo-random sequence was that the shared key was generating. So in order to decrypt web, all you need is enough, in, enough information. Well, and in the case of this horrible authentication protocol, which, by the way, has since been removed because it was so bad, you, you literally you just you did what's called an exclusive OR, an XOR, <laughs> of the of the encrypted message and the plain text, the unencrypted message, and what you got out was the stream, the the the, the um, stream of pseudo random numbers. But how do that, you how do you get the unencrypted message though? Because that's what the access point sent initially oh, to, to say tell hello. the endpoint to encrypt. Oh. <laughs> it's just amazingly so you, dumb. You, so you really only have to get a little data, and you can see the whole. You can you get the key, well, and you're done. Well, what that meant was that then, when the eavesdropper wanted to authenticate, he would say, "Hi there, authenticate me." Well, the access point would send a different test jumble to him. He didn't have to have the key because he already figured out what this the pseudo random stream was that resulted from the key. So he just used that to encrypt the message and send it back, and it was a perfect match. And so he's on. And so he's on. Now, that's not the same as being able to communicate from there on. But it turns out that, I mean, that's typical of the mistakes that were made. Web, the web technology is so badly broken that given about an hour, it's possible to crack it for sure. 
To see the other segments and related resources for this episode 11, please join us at askmrwizard.com. Select Security Now from the prominent section index at the top of the homepage, and then select number 11 from the episode index at the bottom. The original, audio-only version of this podcast can be found on the Gibson Research Corporation site at grc.com slash security now. This clip illustrates some of the highlights from that show. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find at www.askmrwizard.com, along with related items, text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. We appreciate your support. Thank you.